cool. Very, 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 very cool. And it's beautiful. It is a uh, Breedlove Pursuit Exotic CE, and it is all Koa. Koa, Koa. So, um, not all Koa. The neck is mahogany. The fretboard is ebony. Mahogany and ebony, yes. Okay. Getting my woods confused. This is a solid Koa top with a layered Koa back and sides. Um, these Pursuit Exotic guitars are amazing guitars, and they are, it's, it's actually Hawaiian Koa on this one. It sounds great. It's a really good guitar for, for strumming. Um, it, you know, one thing about this particular guitar, um, you know, every guitar sounds a little bit different, but this one in particular really sounds like it would cut through a mix in live situations, like, um, like if you're, you know, if you're going to be strumming or, or, you know, picking. It feels like it would cut. Like, I, you know, in a live situation, you can't always use like those breathy, you know, type guitars. This one's got a very, very cutty sound to it like if some mids added you know um, as with all breed loves you can hear all the strings when you're playing <laughs> nothing is really taken away or added but this one feels like it's got a little push in the mids just to kind of get it you know kind of get it through the mix a little um, like i said koa koa it is a mahogany neck ebony fretboard uh breed love covered uh, tuners. The new model, the newest one that is coming out soon, is uh, has chrome uh, tuners. So just so you know, it's a little different from this one. Um, it is. This has what is used to be called the Bridge Doctor, but it's called the Breedlove Bridge Trust now, the BBT. And it is. Um, it is a. I don't know why I went into that stupid voice, but it just sounded good for that. Um, so inside of here, there's this rod in here. It connects to a, a piece of wood that's, a, that's glued to the back of this, the bridge and it holds it steady. So the 200 to 250 pounds of pressure that's trying to tear this bridge off, is, it's, it's not gonna tear this bridge off. It's stabilized and the, and the top's probably not gonna bow on this like a lot of other guitars may. A lot of them don't, most of them don't, but the ones that do, this one is not, I promise you, because the, the, the stress is taken off of the top and put on that bridge truss and it's, it's, very, it's very stable. So what does that do? Because that stress isn't on there, there's, le there's a less need for bracing. And so they thinned out the bracing on these guitars and it makes them project better. That's why I feel like this one would cut through and um, cut through a mix. So look inside a Breedlove whenever you can. Uh, the next, you know, not all of them have that bridge truss system, but this one does and it makes it sound really good. Um, the graduated top on these creates that special Breedlove sound and Breedlove does have a sound to it. You know, Martin's got its sound, Taylor's got its sound, other companies have their sound, but Breedlove has its thing and it's, and, and to me, it's kind of the best of all those worlds put together. There's really a nice, it's a good blend of the frequency spectrum where a lot of other brands stri really try to do it but never really succeed. Breedlove has that, and I and I I love that about it. And and I don't know if that comes from Kim, like if he if he started that back in the '90s when he was building guitars one at a time by himself. But they they truly are amazing guitars. And the cool thing about this this uh, intermediate price point is. Breedlove, to us, we, that we've noticed, we noticed that Breedlove was the first group, first company that really tried to take their practices and their QC, quality control, and all that from the American-made stuff in their factory that they own and they run to the factory that builds these overseas guitars. They were really the first ones that kind of did that, to, that I noticed um, several years ago, um, really making sure that these guitars quality wise build fit and finish are 
the same quality as the, the American made stuff. Now, nothing's, there's no substitute for American craftsmanship, but, um, but it's really nice. And I, I urge you to, you know, if breed love isn't on the table, if this price point at a thousand bucks ish isn't on the table for you, if you're out shopping for an acoustic in that price range, you really should pick one of these up, pick several up because there's a lot, there's several models in this price range. Um, and you should check them out. But this one in particular, the Koa is beautiful on this. Um, the purfling is a really nice touch. The rosette is a nice touch on this one. I'll show you the back of this one in particular. So if you are a fan of beautiful guitars and great sounding guitars, I would check this out, this Koa Koa um, Breed Love Concert Pursuit Exotic CE, Cutaway Electric, and it's got the LR bags um, electronics in it, so it sounds amazing. So call, call us, chat with us on the website, email us, uh, please subscribe, please hit like if you like the video, and, um, and we'll see you soon. Moreguitars.com.